please. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tyleen Duggan. I'm the founder of Youth Day, which was created after the summer of the girl in 2005. I'd like to thank my daughter, too, who's your executive producer today on her first year. The only thing we didn't do was control the weather. So thank you all for bearing with us. With all these people behind me, with all of you here, with all of these great young aspiring artists showing that Toronto does care, it means a lot to all of us. And what I'd like to do right now is ask everybody to just remove their hats. And I'd like to do a moment of silence to all the young victims that have died from violence in our city. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Please, we've all been touched in one way or another. Please understand. Power in numbers. We're troopers. We have got to remain. I'd like to introduce certain people who are dedicated to make sure Toronto does return to the safe Toronto, the good we always were. I'd like to introduce Valerie from the RCMP. I'd like to introduce Scott Mill from Crime Stoppers. I'd like to introduce Tony Mellon and I'd like from Toronto Police. And I'd like to introduce the new CEO, Eugene Jones, from Toronto Community Housing.
together this can be done. Thank you for all the kids that are deciding a different route and finding a passion in the arts. Hello everyone, my name is Cosmo Tony Vella. Just the one thing I want to urge people is, if you have a problem with someone, communication is your best answer. Never resort to violence. No one wins. Absolutely. And it's all about providing the right direction for our kids, people. Ensure that we are on the right path. Always help the next person. It's all about helping each other. Again, violence is never the solution. Remember that. And again, I repeat, no one ever wins. I'm going to turn over to the next speaker. How's it going, guys? Uh, my name is Mike Bradwell, uh, wide receiver for the Toronto Argonauts, number 88. Uh, the big guy on my left here is uh, Joe Appel, number 59, offensive lineman. So I'm just going to say a few words to you guys about some of the community involved and stuff that we do as Toronto Argonauts. Hi, guys. I just want to start off by saying how appreciative we are of you guys having us out here in this event, giving us the opportunity to speak. Since Mike and I have joined the Toronto Argonauts, we've had the opportunity to partake in a lot of community events, give back as much as we possibly can, speak about the experiences we've had, and we're just here to push on to you guys. We just want you guys to go out and do as much positive as you can in the community, and just understand that every little bit of effort you guys give could change someone's life, so we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming here. My name's Scott Mills. I'm a Toronto Police Service social media officer. Um, if you see tweets coming from Toronto Police or Facebook from Toronto Police or YouTube from Toronto Police, I'm on that team. I'm also the social media advisor for Crime Stoppers International, which is a community program worldwide for anonymous tips to help prevent and solve crime together. And it's about people first and community first. And I want all of my speaking time to go to the next three people who are from our neighborhoods here in Toronto and have something to say to you to stop gun violence in their language, in their terms, with their hearts. I'd like to introduce to you my friends Jaden, my friends Andrea, and my friend Sizzle. Hi, I'm representing the Jane and Finch community. And I am also a community leader. And I would like to send out a poetry regarding guns. And the poem goes like this. Who are you that has polluted our earth with violence and death? What is your motive behind leaving our streets in such a mess? Leaving children without parents? Sisters without sisters, a neighborhood filled with silence, a church without whispers. You have caused a national crisis with every hand you have touched. What's so good about you? Why they love you so much? Who are you that fits in a lap? Who are you that has teenagers trapped? Who are you that tells them to kill? It's because of you I read my cousin's will. I know who you are. I want others to know too. How many lives have we lost over the colors red and blue? Thank you very much. What's going on, everybody? We all right? Yeah, man. I go by the name of Jada, man. I'm a hip hop artist in the city, but I'm not gonna rap today because I'm representing the Lawrence Heights community. Let's give me a round of applause, please. You know what I mean? All of the communities. Right, I mean, we lost a good, we lost a genuinely good guy the other night to some senseless violence. And, you know, I just, when I was asked to come down here, you know, it's like I felt something come over me that told me I needed to just do something in acapella so everybody out here could take heed 
can listen and hopefully get something or take a message to somebody you know who needs it. So listen. Now some say this world is for the well off. So is the world for those who done fell off. If not here, then we are so we can head off. On second thought, tell driver, turn that thing off. Cause I'ma get off. This is my world, homie. And I got all that I need, this what my mom told me. And no, I ain't got money, that's put aside for me. But with this thing that I have, see, I'ma thrive, homie. It's inside of me, harder for Trojan. And the fiery eyes of Hulk Hogan. Yeah, they are both the beast, yeah, they provoked him. And yeah, I may tell jokes, but I ain't joking. I ain't the token, real as a light bin. And I got something to prove, just like a nice kid. So I must step on opponents until I'm 19 And I don't mean by the queen but all my people Get it clear Chico, pause when it rains But too many selling out for the fame And then stripped and sent back, what a shame Others will tell you there's no honor in the game All you got is your name, so do what you must But don't force it if there's really no rush And be cautious cause there's really no trust this hypnosis holds all in its cusp It's a thing called lust See many go laugh with you They'll even look at the bill and split it half with you If this is over your head I'll do the math with you Even a blind man will find what he seeks Let's take back our streets Thanks, Jada Man Get up, get up, get up, get up I got a poem called R.I.P. Alright most communities are participants in witnessing lost innocence and gain grief. Young and deceased is something hard to digest. Yet in my next small essence of death all around me. That's just my observation and viewing all the hatred and no patience. Respect and courtesy is ancient history. Now we know that death is hard to handle. But when a young love who are looked upon as a role model dies, is that an example? From God himself to show you how precious life is. R I P, meaning restore integrity, people, but where do we begin? Adults with the faults are the youths without sin. We ever idolize things, but the meaning we have to miss it. Need to move on and start off with ideas and propositions. Envision, a life worth living. Death is inevitable, but the killing is an action taking place which is senseless. For many, you must be unstable, corrupted, and demented. Politicians elaborating on reaching some form of equality and utopia, but the representation of a flag separates and segregates and in serving that flag, a weapon is what you have to hold close to you. Your environment plays a big role. I was raised in a dysfunctional household, terrible relationship with my mother. She is eternally, permanently scarred, but then I cut her. With the imaginary blade of bad life choices, my objective was to love her. Still some uncertainty. Bottled emotions when I'm out in the open, in my some kind of order. Bad intentions and dark images is what I had to overcome. So as people, let's overcome our environment. Our young ones shouldn't die in vain. Let's cherish their names. Bye. We're still in integrity, people. Ah, uh, ah, uh, mm. Thanks a lot to all of you for being here. What has just happened here is unprecedented with all of us standing on the stage in unity together. And I want to thank Tylene Duggan and her daughter, Penny Nickel, for putting this day on. And I want to thank every one of you for being here and for supporting Toronto the Good.